Hi everyone, today I'll be showing you how to make this jellyfish and a few and these two jelly and these two jellyfishes um you can also do this with a single chain the um jellyfish's tentacles or you can do it with double bands but today i'll be doing it with double bands but you can but if you're going to do it with a single band for the tentacles you'll need 55 bands and for the pink one with double bands you're gonna need um 76. so the this um body is double bands same with this one but the tentacles are different it's just with um single bands okay so to start off we're going to take a single band and i'm going to go up because this is the band that ties everything off and then I'm going to take two rubber bands and I'm going to go diagonally, push it down, and then I'm going to go diagonally again, like that. So now I'm going to go down, go vertically on the right side. I'm going to take two bands again and go up in the center. I'm going to take another two and I'm going to go up. So I'm going to do this two more times. So I'm going to just do this without explaining because you're just going to do this three times. Like that. So this is what your loom should look like. You have three chains on each um, column. Now we're going to move, and now we're going to make, I'm gonna move on on making this part with the jellyfish. This is little, this little end that sticks out. And now I'm going to take a single band and I'm going to wrap it around my hook three times. And then I'm going to take two rubber bands again. I mean, this is single. I'm going to take two rubber bands and I'm going to pull it through. And don't place the other end, but you're going to place this on your loom. So I'm going to place one end on this hook. And then I'm going to put the other end, this other end, on this peg. So you should have this little, little chain here. And now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So wrap a band. Wrap a band three times. Take two of our bands and pull it through. Now I'm going to place this one end on this peg and this other, this other end on this top peg, like that. This is what your room should look like. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make the jellyfish's tentacles right here. So whatever you've chosen to do double bands or single chain link, I'm going to be using double bands. So take double bands and I'm going to go up and then upwards on the center peg and then upwards on this right peg. Now I'm going to keep on doing this till I reach to this peg, not here, to this peg. So I'm gonna just do that all the way down.
going to do this one more time and stop here. Like that. So this is what my loom looks like. Now I'm going to take a single band and I'm going to wrap it around this peg three times. So one, two, three. I'm going to do this again. Wrap it around three times. And then I'm going to wrap it around three times on this right peg like that. I'm going to put our horizontal bands. So, I'm going to take a single band. I'm going to put it across this peg. Like that. Now, I'm going to take a black row band for the eyes. And I'm going to wrap it around this peg four times. So, one two, three, and four. I'm going to do the same thing on this peg right here. Right here on this peg. One, two, and three, and then four. Like that. So now, I'm going to put a, another horizontal band, take a single band, and I'm going to put it across. And then this time, I'm going to put it across, but I'm going to circle around this peg. Circle, circle around this peg, and then place it on. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to hook these black bands over. So... I'm going to hook these black bands over, and I'm going to do it all at once, but you can do it one at a time. If you want. Like that. So this is now what you should have. Now we can start hooking the bands. And I'm going to go inside this peg, grab the bottom band, loop up. And I'm just going to keep on, do, I'm going to do this to the next one. Loop up. And then I'm going to loop up again. And now I'm just going to loop up like a single chain, but mine is with double bands. So I'm just going to loop up. Once I get to here, um, I'm going to go inside this peg where I'm going to ignore the band that we placed. So I'm only going to grab, only going to grab these bottom two bands, these bottom two bands. I'm going to ignore this band here and not hook it. So I'm not going to hook this band. I'm going to hook this band. So ignore this band right here. Just pretend that th that band is not even there, and then just hook. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other side, just ignore that band that we placed after that band bottom. Now in the center, it's like the normal hooking process, so I'm going to loop up. Now on each side, I'm just going to keep on looming this.
So after that, I'm going to hook this band in the center. Like that. So I've hooked this band in the center. Not up, but in the center. I'm going to do this again. Like... Eh, come on. <laughs> like that. So now... I am going to hook this upwards, the single band, and your band can snap, but I'm using rainbow moon brand bands, Jen, so, and I'm using one of the, their, their bands, it's pretty sturdy, so I've hooked it up, now I'm going to pull the bottom band over, let me do this again, because I didn't really explain, Okay, so here I have two layers. I'm going to grab the bottom band and pull it over. And I'm going to grab this band here and tuck, tug on it so it ties a slip knot. Now I can remove everything off of my loom. Okay, so this is what I have here. Now it kind of looks weird compared to this one. So to get this um, band, these bands on the side, what I'm going to do is find the side and I'm going to grab this band that you see this cap band looped trip three times. I'm going to grab that loops and pull it out. I'm going to do the same thing, find those three loops and pull out, like that. So now it looks a lot better, okay? Now stretch and even things out, that doesn't seem right to you. Okay, and yeah, so that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys made this. I have three other jellyfishes, <laughs> jellyfish that I made. So, this one, okay, and this, and this one. So, I made four total. And I think this is probably the smallest one because I just use single bands for this. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Bye!